Switch and Condition in Smart Flows This training video covers the switch and condition actions in Atmosphere Smart Flows. Viewers will learn how the switch action affects a flow, how the condition action affects a flow, situations where each action is better suited to a flow, how the switch action affects a flow. In the Smart Flows Editor, find Switch in the Actions panel under Flow Logic. When planning your flow, identify the paths you want your user to take and what criteria the flow should use to set the user on that path. Example criteria could include the time zone of the caller's area code, whether they have an existing profile in your system, or the contents of their most recent SMS message. On the board, a switch action looks like a menu tree, but the flow chooses the path based on the first criterion met, rather than asking the caller to make a choice. Configure the switch with the variables needed to determine which path the flow takes next. A port will appear on the switch block for each variable added. When the flow is deployed, the switch will route the user on the path connected to the first criterion whose condition is met. In this example, the flow routes to a different path based on a counter that increments with each call. The earliest callers to advance the counter receive a spoken message thanking them for playing and encouraging them to call again. When the counter arrives at the selected number, say caller 25, the caller is transferred to the promotions department to claim their prize. Subsequent callers receive a message thanking them for playing and that the contest has ended. How the condition action affects a flow. With a condition action, similar to a switch, you specify one or more criteria. The difference is that a condition has only two paths. If the current use meets all of the criteria, the flow will route to the first path. If the current use meets only some or none of the criteria, then the flow will route to the second path. In this example, if the caller is flagged as a VIP, the flow bypasses Tier 1 and transfers the caller to the Tier 2 support queue. If the caller requests support but does not meet the VIP criterion, the flow transfers the caller to Tier 1 support. Multiple conditions can be specified in a single condition action, but all must be true for the action to route on the all conditions true path.